Many regional airline fleets comprised of turboprop aircraft fly at low and medium altitudes right in the middle of the icing environment. With the increasing takeoff and landing cycles of turboprop flights each year, these aircraft are statistically more exposed to potential icing conditions for a greater percentage of flight time than aircraft flying longer and higher altitude routes. Most incidents of tailplane icing have involved regional airliners flying turboprop aircraft. However, large and small general aviation aircraft are also susceptible to ice-induced tailplane stall. What are some of the warning signs that could indicate a problem with the contaminated horizontal stabilizer? Individual pilots may perceive these warning signs at different times, depending upon the pilot's experience and icing conditions, the workload in the cockpit, and the intensity of the situation. Now, it should be noted that if you were flying on autopilot, you would almost certainly miss these symptoms because you would not get any tactile feedback from the controls. And here's what we found. Although these warning signs may vary slightly depending upon the airfoil and the conditions. To protect your passengers, yourself, and the aircraft from encountering an ice-induced tailplane stall, remember these key points. Become acutely aware of the symptoms of tailplane icing and be prepared to undo any configuration changes. Avoid the use of autopilot in known icing conditions. If equipped with a de-icing system, use it to clear even small amounts of ice, especially before extending flaps during final approach. You can imagine an instrument approach in icing conditions close to or at minimums. You lower the flaps, the yoke starts shaking. If you misdiagnose this as a wing stall, you and your passengers could be history. Remember, you have very little time to correctly diagnose the problem and take the proper corrective actions. When ice is a factor, there is more to consider than wing stall and drag increase. Be knowledgeable, be aware, and take the corrective actions necessary should you encounter tailplane icing. You don't want to be looked at as the probable cause in an aircraft icing accident. Remember, in almost all tailplane icing accidents, the cockpit hits the ground first.